There is nothing wrong with talking about alcohol and about drinking. What's the big deal? Why are you acting like a little five-year-old going, Oh my God, alcohol, oh, gross, sick. She's talking about alcohol. Oh my God, we got to freak out and yell at her and tell her to knock it off. Tell her she can't talk about alcohol just because I know more about alcohol than you. There's nothing wrong with alcohol. There's nothing scary about alcohol for you to get all upset about talking about alcohol. I love to, I love you, and you know who you are, to tell our certain friend who does those things and drugs and tell him, sorry, but you can't talk about it, or you get kinked. And then they're getting all pissy and, and screaming at me on this call going, you can't talk about alcohol, you just can't, it's gross, gross, gross. Just because I started talking about the different names that they have for different drinks. Like the one called Sex on the Beach. They're like, what? What the fuck? Um, what's, so comment down below and tell me, what's wrong with talking about alcohol? I don't drink, but if I do, I only have one sip, and it's like pina colada or margarita, and that's it. So I don't see what the big deal is talking about alcohol. It's not scary. So no need to be scared. You know who you are, but I just wanted opinions of other people that don't know what I'm talking about. And tell me, what's so scary about talking about alcohol? I want to know. Because they won't tell me. So you tell me. That's all I'm going to say about it. Because the rest of the story on that is uh, personal and you can't know about it. You gotta watch me leprechaun movies on St. Patrick's Day because me leprechaun wants me gold and me chillings. And happy birthday to me. It's my birthday. Now you gotta kiss me. <laughs> I hate birthdays to be honest. Did I show you guys that I did get some shamrock cookies for my birthday. If I did, oops, if I didn't, here you go. Too bad I didn't get a retweet for what I said from Ty Pennington. Now, for people that don't know who he is, he's on Trading Spaces, but last night he was designing a room on, what was it? on why you were out, an old show that used to be on in the 90s, which I miss so much, glad that's back. And, but they changed it up with a twist saying two rooms with two designers, and Hildy was one of them, and you guys know how Hildy does designs, and they suck, and they're not very good. And it was funny on Trading Spaces how she showed up, and Ty was, or Carter, woo we got Carter! He was like, this is really your, this is your designer at your house. And they were like, oh, are you freaking serious? We don't want her designing our house. She's going to make it look like shit. And Carter's like, I'm just kidding. It's like, oh my God. And then she's on Why You Were Out. <clears throat> this might be a last cause, but this is the card. The cop. <laughs> the solution I got. The, the contact solution I got for the slime and I put like so much on here like so I squeeze like half the bottle on here and it's still sticky like what am I doing wrong help me I don't know what I did wrong it's stuck to this paper and we'll try to get it over there here's what happened I don't put it on that kind of paper plate that looks better on foam plates but if you're ready to get it messy get messy because I tried everything with this Nickelodeon salon to use this contact solution and nothing's working I even googled the problem and it told me to make it stretch use lotion so I made it stretch to do lotion thinking maybe if I can stretch it then put contact solution on it that maybe it would help it didn't help it still sticks to all my fingers I'm gonna have to use hand 
uh, soap to water and soap to get off. But I made more slime. See, this is how the slime came. This is how, after I used all this stuff, what it did to this. And yes, that's High School Musical, if you're wondering. So, if you want to make more messy slime, if you lose some, I guess you can use that stuff. But the contact solution isn't working. I even looked up Nickelodeon slime, whatever this crazy art stuff is, and I'm just not finding things. If, if you out there who make slime know of a way to fix these slimes, let me know in the comments down below. Um, tweet me at IamAlien88 some videos to watch to fix it. Like, I would love to know. Thank you. And, what a revise. Don't get Nickelodeon slime, like I said in my other videos, unless you know how to fix it. Because I thought all you need is contact solution, but yet that's not working. It's still sticky, sticky, sticky. I st still have a lot of this left. Nowhere in the thing says how much contact solution you may need when I Google it. Um... If you need the whole bottle, then I'll have to get another one for that. So, I just need to know. Because content solution is expensive. This one was at least at Target for like 12, like 2 bucks. So, that's a little better than some. But, I thought we just needed a little bottle. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. So, that's what I did for my birthday. Get messy. An updated song of, oh, this is called Naked Mole Rat Remix. It's a new version of the one that they played back in the day when Kim Possible Animation was a thing. Now they're bringing back Kim Possible, a movie with, that isn't animated, but is, the, I don't know if you'd call it live action, but it's the real thing. And I'm like, what? Why would you do that? But... Hey, they do it. And they did it. And it's with that guy from That's So Raven. So, yeah, that's a new version. What do you guys think? I'm not a big fan of this show, but I do have a Disney Mania with the naked, the original Naked Mole Rat on it. So, I don't know. I just want to get you guys' thoughts. I forgot to show you guys the second birthday card I got from my grandma on my dad's side on Friday. It says, and it's so cute, a birthday bright and beautiful for someone even more so. And then this is, this is so beautiful, and then this says, celebrating you and another wonderful new year ahead. Hope you have a great day. Hope it gets warmer too. Love your grandma. And of course they made it so that... You could take this piece of paper off and then we use the card to for someone else, which is really nice. And I think all cards should have that so you can reuse them. And like put your own like you should tape your own paper in one. That way they can take it off and use it to somebody else and so on. That way you're not wasting your money on cards. Cause most people just get the card and go, Oh, thank you, that's so sweet. And then just throw it away and waste money. When you could, you can even like take this off and sell it to somebody else that might want to use it. And you could take the saying that's on the print, like this one, and you could copy it or write it or print it out on a on there or something, and place it on another piece of paper, and then tape that to the, because I think what they did is just glued this to the thing, and voila, there you go, we got another Hallmark exclusive card for someone, so, you know, but I keep all my cards because they mean something to me. And 20 we're supposed to take him to a doctor this way. You know what well, kind of upsets me is when people make mocks or 
do a Lego City thing and they want to put your sig fig in there but not give you a shout out just throw it in there but not let anybody know that was watching your videos that your sig fig is in the video and to go watch their channel because it's awesome too because nobody knows who if you show off that sig fig they're not going to know who you are they're going to be like, okay, well, who's the blonde with red shirt, blue jeans? They're not going to know that it's me. And it's like, really? You only give shout outs to people that matter? So, basically, popular Lego YouTubers, if you're if you're not popular you don't get one that's just kind of rude you got me all hyped and excited that oh I get to be in your video and I'm gonna get a shout out and blah blah, blah. and then all I get is a and here's some people some sick things just running around and drinking coffee really I mean I appreciate that you put me in there but nobody's gonna know it's me just saying kind of hurt my feelings a little bit and the reason why I say please don't judge me is because I'm guy crazy and so when I see guys I go nuts I go crazy because I love my men people that annoy me when your fucking kid is crying their fucking eyes out. You don't sit there on your vlog and go, Okay guys, we're in Alaska. We're gonna be doing this, this, and this. And, you know, instead of, this is why we're not at the actual place. This is why we're at a hotel for now. Until tomorrow. And your kids in the background going, Wah, 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 wah. Like, seriously. Turn off the fucking blog camera and tend to your kid. When your kid stops crying, then come back to the vlog and tell us about it. Because that's kind of annoying to hear your baby crying, you not attending to it. Hi. Hi. How is that, uh, what was her name? Uh... Just someone I came down here with.